you can visualize this like this is a great big, great big sound stage they had at 15 Vattelbilt Avenue, where in the Grand Central building, uh, like, almost like the length of a football field, and at one end of it was the control room. Next to the control room was another small room, which I was in, which just uh, with a, I, I was screened off from the, with a glass, if I could look into the control room. But, uh, I was in this little room with a monitor and uh, my guitar, my amplifier, and a set of earphones. Now on the earphones, on one side I was, I was tuned into the action on stage, hearing the, the dialogue, the actors. On this side, I was hearing the control room. I was hearing Yule's directions to the camera, take one, take two, move this in, cues to the audio man, cues to the director, uh, the, you know, the man who was doing the shots, the TV crew director. And all while this is going on in both ears, I'm playing the guitar. And you tell me, how can you, how can you play the guitar, turn pages of a script, listen to this and listen to that without going bananas, you know? So which is what I had to do practically every week was practically memorize what I was doing musically, because there's no way I could, you know. And fortunately, Yule's idea, and later to be followed by Sidney Lumet, was to, uh, to do a, a, a thematic idea. In other words, kind of a theme association with the various characters, you know. You can even go into the obvious uh, 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 good characters, beautiful music, bad characters, low ominous music, but they were themes. So that every time Every time you saw one of these characters or something. And then, of course, in between, you would have to devise some, some form of, uh, uh, of uh, m music that would cover chase scenes, uh, anxiety, uh, danger, imminent danger, you know. And these are kind of little things that I had in the back of my head. So a lot of it, a lot of it besides being written and planned ahead of time, a lot of it was uh, uh, spur of the moment, you know. And uh, and this also changed. Like after, uh, I would see uh, I would see a uh, a run through during the week, and then I would work on I would work on the music for that show, and then I would see a, a run through the day. I would have a dress rehearsal, and after the dress rehearsal, there would be a meeting with the director and notes for cam for the camera crew, for the cast, and for me. And when it got around to me, you you or Sydney would we would discuss that where he didn't think this worked or that worked, change this or do that, and uh, mark his script up or remember it because you're never going to be, you're never going to be uh, able to, to do it all with just two hands, you know. We had a script conference, I would get the script the early part of the week, and I would be familiar pretty much with the script, and then I would have a meeting with Yule and later Sydney uh, uh, about treatment, you know. And by that time, it would be the middle of the week, I would be, uh, I would be watching a rough run through on the set, you know, stop and start thing, you know, scene by scene. Then after that, I would get together with you or any about notes about uh, where they, where they thought music should be and should not be, and then I would attend a uh, a rehearsal, a uh, on on camera rehearsal, the day of the show. Be because of the fact that we were in agreement with Yule and later Sydney and myself. The thematic approach was the was the approach. So that was easy to do, because if I would write like a, a, a eight or sixteen bar melody for for the central character and a eight or sixteen bar melody for the heavy, uh, I would retain that. I would and I would I would embellish on it. I would make variations on the theme. It was actually basically it's a good uh, it's a good way to describe it. It was theme and variations, you know, with the usual uh, 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 things that bridges. And curtains, you know, bridges are bridge one scene to another scene. Curtains, which is the end of a scene, you know, those kind of things.